As of August 5th, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 28,161 cases of COVID-19 in country, with 186 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 14 per 100,000 population per day with a 25% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 1.2. We have noted a total of 387 COVID-19 deaths. We have 10 positive COVID-19 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital, of which one is severely ill. This past week, we continue to register cases daily, and these are underreported as we note the reluctance of the public to get tested. The Caribbean Public Health Agency has confirmed the presence of two other new variants of concern, BA4 and BF5 in country. On July 23, 2022, the director of the World Health Organization declared the outbreak of monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern. This declaration came with detailed recommendations for countries to prevent, reduce, and limit monkeypox transmission. On Friday, August 5, 2022, member states of the Pan American Health Organization held a special session to the directing council to address the progress of the outbreak and issues related to vaccine access. The Ministry of Health has strengthened the public health system in relation to early detection, surveillance, treatment, isolation, contact tracing, and testing for monkeypox. St. Lucia now has the capacity to test for monkeypox in country at the Ezra Long Laboratory. PAHO, through the revolving fund, is facilitating a coordinated response in obtaining vaccines for the region. There is currently only one third generation vaccine for monkeypox that is currently produced by just one manufacturer, priced at about US $100 per dose. They are in short supply and not widely available. The vaccines are recommended for close contacts of positive cases and high risk frontline workers. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has received reports of cases of hand, foot and mouth disease from some of our healthcare providers on island. Cases of hand, foot, and mouth disease are recorded yearly in St. Lucia, and early interventions usually limit the transmission. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a contagious illness caused by different viruses. It affects infants and children younger than five years old. However, older children and adults are also susceptible. Individuals with hand, foot, and mouth disease usually develop immunity to the specific virus that caused the infection. However, because it can be caused by several different viruses, persons can get it again. Symptoms of hand, foot, and mouth disease include fever, reduced appetite, sore throat, painful mouth sores that usually begin as flat red spots which start on the tongue and inside of the mouth and blister and become painful. A rash of flat red spots that may blister on the palms of the hands, soles of the feet, and sometimes the knees, elbows, and the genital area. Preventative measures include frequent hand washing with soap and water, especially after changing diapers, avoid touching the eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands, avoid close contact with affected persons, frequent disinfection of high-touched surfaces as well, especially if someone is sick. There is no vaccine to protect against hand, foot, and mouth disease, and treatment is symptomatic aimed at relieving the symptoms and preventing dehydration. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is usually not a serious disease, and most persons recover in seven to 10 days without medical treatment. Persons who suspect that they may have this or note symptoms in their children are advised to visit the nearest medical care facility. More information on these diseases of concern will be provided in further updates.